careful now. You are approaching the end of the walkway. Be careful, island guests. You are approaching the end of the walkway. Watch your step. You are approaching the end of the walkway. In the true tradition, I'm going to ramble my introduction. Um, after just briefly saying that when I started planning this convention, I never thought it would be get this much attention. It was just meant to be a party, and now it's sort of ballooned into, into whatever. So that's why I like to kind of keep the carnival atmosphere so it doesn't ever get too serious. It is absolutely impossible to run a really decent clandestine operation out of a U.S. Embassy when you're a yuppie throwing around money, working late, and coming in on the weekends. It gets real easy to spot the spook. Uh, and I will one day have a conference and we'll give out spot the spook t-shirts. Uh, but uh, I'm real pleased. One of the things that I have done for the hacker community, I think, is encourage my government colleagues to come to these things. Um, and uh, at Hope, we had three really great looking teams of two men each wearing shorts, press t-shirts, and black shoes from Air Force Intelligence. <laughs> but they were nice people. And they learned a lot, and the fear factor is going down. This is what's important. This is what's very important. The US government is starting to figure out that maybe hackers know something the US government needs to know. And that maybe hackers are not the poison, they're the antidote. And that's what I'm all about. When you go around saying the emperor is naked, what you're really doing is making up for communications and computing industry that is criminally negligent. Okay, security is out the window. We have a system that sucks. As you know very well, it is wide open, it is a gauze tent, and there are lots and lots of kids with matches out there. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're now starting to see a marriage between criminals with money and hackers without money. And that's scary. That is very dangerous. In Rotterdam, hackers are running credit checks to help criminals decide who to bribe in the Dutch government. Hackers are running telephone traces on key people in the Dutch government. Now, in the past three years, it has been a deep privilege for me to be taken into this community and to become friends with many of you. And I know that all of you are, in fact, bright people pushing the curve. Shirley Turkle's book, My Second Self, Computers and the Human Spirit, still is the best definition of hacking on the face of the earth. It's the right stuff. It's pushing the edge of the envelope. Most people don't understand that. They think of it as breaking and entering. And I was at Computer Freedom and Privacy with uh, Emmanuel, and the system administrator from the University of Wisconsin stood up and said, but they're breaking into my system. You know, they, they should be prosecuted. <clears throat> and I thanked him for standing up because he represented a very significant portion of the earth it just does not get it. Okay. The housing analogy, and I, I share this with you because I, you are, you are the ambassadors of Hackerdom, and I really, in the nicest possible way, think you have a responsibility to educate the media. Larry Lasker, Jeff Apple, who's coming tonight. Um, the house analogy, breaking into a house, is bullshit. Okay, houses have locks and doors and windows and roofs and shingles and all this crap, dogs barking, okay? You don't prosecute a bird for flying over an undeveloped lot. You don't prosecute a dog for walking through a rough framed house with no doors, no windows, no walls, and no roof. That's what our communications and computing industry is today. Would you agree? Okay. We need to help the press understand that bad law is not a substitute for bad engineering. Let me go over that again. Bad law is not a substitute for bad engineering. We have 
have raised an entire generation of overpaid computer programmers that haven't got a fucking clue about security. Unix! Careful now. You are approaching the end of the walkway. You are approaching the end of the walkway. <laughs> Power output is a function of time. When we talk about a 100 watt light bulb, that's 100 watts of continuous power going over and over. We call that 100% duty cycle. If I release one watt of power as is measured in continuous duty cycle, if I release that amount of power in one microsecond, I'm releasing a one megawatt spike. So we have an issue of frequency, distribution, noise, and time for discharge of a particular pulse. So it's fairly easy to get up to a fair amount of power fairly quickly. Uh, the military has a, a very active program called DE, DE, Directed Energy Weapons, DEW, and it's all secret stuff, so let me tell you about it. <laughs> they are... Uh, Careful, island guests. You are approaching the end of the walkway.